Welcome or welcome back to Age Fit with Tess. My name is Tess Halbauer, physiotherapist. By the end of this video, you are going to know how to complete a routine of strength exercises for shoulder osteoarthritis. This video is following on from the video shoulder exercises for osteoarthritis, linked in the description and at the end of this video. Join the Age Fit with Tess Facebook group to get further support, managing pain, building strength and gaining fitness. To book a consultation or apply for the four month program, head to www.agefitwithtess.com. Let's get started. Starting with isometric external rotation, holding your right arm at your side with your elbow bent. Hold the outside of your wrist with your left hand. With your right arm, push out against your left hand. Hold for three to five seconds, then relax. Repeat eight times. Isometric exercises describe a static muscle contraction where the muscle fibers are contracting against resistance to hold the position, but are not changing length to produce movement. This is a beneficial starting point for building strength for those with shoulder osteoarthritis who experience pain with movement. This is because the joint can remain still while the muscles contract to develop strength in the same way they would with movement. Repeat with your left arm. The movement we are placing resistance against is external rotation. Holding your left arm at your side with your elbow bent, hold the outside of your wrist with your right hand. With your left arm, push out against your left hand as if you are trying to complete the external rotation movement. Hold for three to five seconds, then relax. When completing isometric exercises, it is important to think about doing the full movement to ensure the right muscles are activated. External rotation works the teres minor, infraspinatus and deltoid muscles. These muscles are important for maintaining shoulder joint stability in activities like reaching out to the side and brushing your hair. Again, pushing your left wrist against your right arm, holding your elbow at your side. The second exercise is isometric internal rotation. This time, hold the inside of your right wrist with your left hand. Push your wrist into your hand. Again, hold for three to five seconds, repeating eight times. Internal rotation works the subscapularis, teres minor, latissimus dorsi, pectoralis major, and deltoid muscles. These muscles are important for maintaining shoulder joint stability during movements such as washing your face, brushing your teeth, chopping up food, or lifting an object with two hands. Again, pushing your right wrist into your left hand, thinking about completing the full movement while doing so. Repeat with your left, pushing your left wrist into your right hand. Holding for three to five seconds, repeating eight times. Isometric internal rotation, external rotation and abduction shown later in this video combine to build strength in the rotator cuff muscles. The rotator cuff muscles are the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor and subscapularis. These muscles act to compress the humeral head of the humerus into the glenoid fossa of the scapula, which is paramount for maintaining shoulder joint stability during movement of the shoulder. Maintaining shoulder joint stability by strengthening the rotator cuff muscles is particularly important for those with osteoarthritis because the combination of rotator cuff weakness with osteoarthritis can lead to instability and pain making everyday movements of the arm more difficult. Again, pushing your left wrist into your right hand. Moving on to isometric flexion, make a fist with your right hand. Push your right hand forward into your left hand. Hold for three to five seconds, repeating eight times. Alternatively, you can face the wall and push your fist into a cushion against the wall.
isometric flexion works the pectoralis major, deltoid, the long head of biceps brachii, and coracobrachialis muscles. These muscles assist to perform activities like hanging out the washing on the line, dusting the house, and holding on to the steering wheel while driving. Repeat with your left hand, pushing your wrist into your right hand. While isometric shoulder exercises do not appear to be the most exciting exercises, they are an important component of rehabilitation of the shoulder, particularly for those who are experiencing pain with movement from osteoarthritis of the shoulder joint. Isometric exercises allow progression of strength training for the shoulder without placing increased stress on the joint. This provides a good foundation of strength for progression to dynamic strength training with resistance bands or dumbbells. Upcoming videos in the Shoulder Osteoarthritis series include dynamic control and strength exercises using resistance bands and weights. And if you are looking to purchase resistance bands or dumbbell weights, there are links to weights and resistance bands in the description. Now to isometric extension, placing the back of your left hand behind your right elbow, push your elbow back into your hand. Again, repeating eight times. Similar to isometric flexion, isometric extension can also be performed by standing with your back against the wall and pushing your elbow back into a pillow against the wall. Isometric extension works the latissimus dorsi, teres major, pectoralis major, posterior deltoid and long head of triceps muscles. These muscles are responsible for activities like lowering into a chair with your arms, pulling, rowing, throwing, and tennis. Again, push your elbow back into your hand as if you are completing the full movement. Hold and relax. Repeat, placing the back of your right hand behind your left elbow and pushing your elbow back into your hand. Understanding when to progress strength training can be important in the rehabilitation process. Typically, beginning with range of motion exercises, as seen in the first video of the shoulder osteoarthritis series, is the first step. With the addition of isometric strength exercises once pain allows. As isometric strength exercises are a static exercise, full range of motion is not required to begin isometric strength training. Reduce pain levels following range of motion and isometric exercises is an indicator to progress to dynamic control and weighted strength exercises with resistance bands or dumbbells. And typically pain would be no more than around two to three out of 10 before progressing. The fifth exercise is isometric abduction. With your left hand, hold the outside of your upper right arm just above your elbow. Push against your hand as if aiming to lift your elbow away from your body. Hold for three to five seconds and relax. Repeat eight times. Isometric abduction works the supraspinatus and deltoid muscles. These muscles aid shoulder joint stability during activities like carrying shopping bags by your side, brushing your hair and putting on a t-shirt. Abduction, along with flexion and internal and external rotation, make up the movements that contribute to most overhead activities, like brushing your hair, putting on a t-shirt, and putting the washing on the line. Repeat with your left hand. With your right hand, hold the outside of your upper left arm just above your elbow. Push against your hand, again thinking about lifting your elbow away from your body. 
Typically, overhead movements are the movements with the most noticeable limitations for those with shoulder osteoarthritis. Isometric exercises can be a particularly good starting point for building strength in the shoulder flexors and abductors as they allow strength to be built to increase shoulder joint stability prior to progressing to dynamic strength exercises with overhead movements. The sixth exercise is isometric adduction. With your right arm by your side and your shoulder bent, Push your elbow into your body. Hold, then relax. Repeat eight times. Shoulder adduction can also be completed with a folded towel between your elbow and your body. Isometric adduction works the pectoralis major, latissimus dorsi, teres major, triceps and coracobrachialis muscles. These muscles are responsible for activities like closing a sliding door, carrying shopping bags by your side and holding objects with both hands in front of you. Repeat with your left arm. Remember to join the Age Fit with Tess Facebook group to get further support managing pain, building strength and gaining fitness. If you have shoulder osteoarthritis, make sure to get your complimentary Age Fit with Tess self-assessment to identify if you are meeting 10 key components of a successful exercise program. Head to www.agefitwithtest.com to get your copy. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell for the next video in this shoulder osteoarthritis series where I'm going to show additional exercise progressions for shoulder osteoarthritis. To continue to build your strength and fitness in the meantime, watch these two videos right here. See you next time.